Josh Allen, the Bills moved up to number seven to get him. Big right arm kid from Wyoming. The front office did their homework on him. They're convinced he's a franchise type quarterback. He's extremely intelligent. And when you see him walk out on the football field, he looks the part. He's a big, tall, rangy quarterback. He's a good athlete. And when you see him throw it, you see the difference. He is a first round, top half of the first round physical talent. And Nathan Peterman and A.J. McCarron are fifth round guys. Here they come. And there are people <laughs> on their feet for the man who set the start the second half, the first round pick, big number 17, Josh Allen. And what do you think? Do you think he's going to hand this ball off? Given what they did in the first half, I think this is going to drop back and throw it out of the throw it out of the top of the stadium. Play action. Allen going deep. Complete, but out of bounds. Robert Foster pulled it in. <laughs> and they love the incompletion. They, they don't care, man. That was a great throw. Look how far it went. Wow. And that's, you knew it was going to happen. Uh, Robert Foster down the sideline. Josh Allen leads him out of bounds. He did make the catch, but there was no chance for that to be completed. That ball got away from him a little bit, but it did travel. Oh, what am I going to say? 65 yards in the air. An effortless 65 yeah. as well. Yeah. And Josh Allen, this is at Wyoming where he was asked to do a lot of things as a quarterback. When you're that physically gifted in the Mountain West, you're going to be asked to make some throws nobody else will make. And Josh Allen did it. Now his completion percentage suffered a, a little bit. It didn't give him any easy completions at Wyoming. But he made some great throws and he really grew into it. This is a, a young man who was really really impressed a lot of people with his physical prowess, his intelligence, and the way he's handled himself in the midst of a, of a three-way quarterback race. Third and four from the gun. Allen dropped. It keeps up with the rest of the NFL, and it, and it, oh. Allen taken down. He's trying to hand that forward. Comes, he's a very physical runner. Third and four, Allen completes. First down. I want it to go in there and hit him. I, I don't want it. Allen takes a hit after he delivers it. Connects it. Kroom. One of the things that's been said about Josh Allen is that he doesn't have much touch on the pass. He put some touch on that. Now, it wasn't that accurate. It was behind it. But you could tell he altered his delivery because he got hit in the mouth just as he let it go. Watch as he spins out and takes the shot right to the middle of the chest. That's sternum territory. Kind of, he kind of felt that one a little bit. It's a nice little injury. Marcus Murphy remains in at the tailback. The little slant to Clay. Clay met at the 30. And there's a late flag. And that's so. exactly. Allen, a little sidearm sling. Murphy to the 18. That was a pretty good delivery. Makes a third and 13. Must get to about the eight. And they won't get there. Deception by Josh Allen under center. Intended for Robert Foster, nowhere near him. Yeah, and that was a miscommunication. Robert Foster ran a 10-yard hitch. Made it clear they have a plan for him. It is a methodical plan, and it's not one that's going to be rushed. But there's passes like that that make you want to accelerate things as he hooks up with Ray Ray McLeod, the rookie from Clemson. Yeah, that a throw like that makes up for a bad hitch. <laughs> you throw. He steps up in some traffic, and wow, that's a big throw. Anybody he reminds you of? Yeah, he, I don't know. There's a lot of guys in there in that mix. Allen steps up from the pressure. He's going to run this one in. A flag comes down. This is probably coming back as he runs for a first down. Tough spot for Josh Allen. We'll see. We just want to get half of it right here. Tried to fit it in. That's a tight window. And they're going big time. Out through his receiver, Foster. 
Yeah, and I'll tell you what, he might have said that's to overthrow him. Foster did a nice, didn't, well, he did a nice job getting open, but he did the wrong thing. He looked at this ball for about 25 yards when it was coming to him. When Josh Allen throws that, Foster has to catch it, track it, and then turn his head towards the end zone and get his head down. Allen, quick strike. He gets there so fast, doesn't it? So effortless. Short little dump off to Ford. And a loose. Not fooling anybody. Spins away from danger does Allen. He's going to run it. What kind of legs he got, kid? Across the 35. First down, Buffalo. Well, the Panthers come with a blitz off of Allen's left side. You'll watch coming right up at the top of your screen. They get two guys on the outside. Josh sees it, spins out of it, and then this is a play where he's just got to make it. And uh, you can see they're being chased down by the Carolina Panther. Assad Mabry, who has a defensive tackle that dropped out into pass coverage on that blitz pickup, and that's why Josh Allen got confused. Pickup of 13, first down. Allen, he's going to run it again across the 40. Hey, second and five from the 42. He's not going to avoid the rush this time. I take that back. But under throws his man. Listen, if he gets it out there and it's in the right spot, I don't care if it's a hundred miles an hour, you've got to catch it as an NFL wide receiver. Looking for a flag. It's called, but the official didn't see it that way. Free play here for the offense. If Allen can keep his feet. And he does. Looking for an option. He's going to heave it up for Foster. And and that wasn't a bad play. It was, no. a, it was an incomplete pass, but they had a free play because of the offsides and the encroachment of the defense. And Allen gave it a chance. Offside, defense number 94. It's a five yard penalty. Replay second down. That's a good play by Josh Allen. It doesn't matter they threw it up for grabs. It was the only option he had. Take a chance, roll the dice, even if they, in this case, of course, you don't know it for sure when he lets it go. But Ooh, he lost if the he ball throws there. it up, even if they intercept it for, and run it back for a touchdown, it's still coming back for a five yard penalty. And you see Foster. That's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, you gotta don't keep give up. running, man. You gotta keep running. If you got a quarterback with an arm like Allen, you've got to give him a chance all over the football field. Allen's gonna run for another first down. Get out of a little bit more and dances that, out. That, that's a poised run. That is a very poised run. Well, they're gonna spot it. 1-0 here in the second half. Allen from the gun. Lost this one up. Oh, nice catch and work by the tight end. Kari Lee fighting for a roster spot, fought for position, held his turf and pulled it in the rock. And that's a throw that A.J. McCarron and Nathan Peterman couldn't make. Josh Allen falling back. Kari Lee just laid that, that out there arm. and gave his guy a chance, and that was an excellent throw, albeit whether it was lucky or not, I don't know, but I'll tell you what, it took a strong arm and he put it right in the right spot. Allen. There it is. Touchdown! His first of his NFL career! Ray Ray McLeod with the grab. Rookie to rookie. And that was a dart, too. And they're going to go for two right here, trying to close the gap. And you can see that, that ball got in there, and Cole Luke. Didn't even have a chance to react. That ball was by him before the defensive back, Luke, could even get his head around and defend it. Allen, stiff arm, hit from behind, and down. Yep. Nobody, nobody got any. Allen, three of five, 52 yards in that touchdown on the drive for the night. Nine and 19, 116 and a touchdown.